Hey guys, surprise. <laughs> I'm on at night. I'm on gracing your screens right now at nighttime. I understand that this is much later in the day than I usually do my live videos. Um, summer hours here in our household. Um, our kids are off of school for the summer and so schedules have shifted a bunch and I now find myself with some more time in the evenings, um, alone time a little bit, um, uh, to devote to you guys. So um, this is awesome. It's good to mix things up a bit. So um, this is not going to be every single day like this or anything, but it's I know I'm enjoying the little shift here. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to come on today and talk to you um, about another myth, a very common myth with this journey, um, as I found out, and probably 99.9% .9 of the students that come to me have found out before they, they enrolled in my coaching program and started working with me. And that is that there are different ways to have a physical, love, long-lasting, loving, permanent relationship with your twin flame. In other words, that there are different ways to navigate this journey so um, that you're feeling amazing and you're getting all of your true soul desires realized in your physical world. Um, and if that means a relationship with your twin flame, then that's what that means. So um, yeah, this is, um, I learned this the hard way um, and there's no wonder there's no wonder if everyone thinks this um, because, you know, it's fucking confusing. There's tons of bullshit out there. There's tons of people out there trying to call themselves experts and trying to, you know, jump on. I guess it's like a sudden twin flame bandwagon. There's even more out there than when I was at the point of my journey, when I started my journey six years ago, looking for help. There's so much stuff out there. And I understand the confusion. Um, so, but there is only one truth. There's one truth. Um, the twin flame journey is based on universal and divine truth. And there's only one of those. There aren't many different truths. There's no way around that. There's one truth. And so therefore there's one truth that the teachings <laughs> for this journey need to be based upon. One truth we need to know, we need to resonate with, and we need to adhere to and follow. And that's all it is. It really is. And it's simple because it is truth. Truth is always simple. It's the simplest answer to everything is truth. Um, so uh, the thing is that so many times the truth gets bastardized by, I mean, and not just in the twin flame realm, but in every single realm of everything, you know, the truth of things just gets bastardized. I mean, in the U.S., in my country, there's a debate about, you know, climate change and science, right? And it's like, oh, it's right in front of our eyes, but still people can bastardize and like, and like, you know, change truth around even in that regard, right? When it's right in front of people's eyes. So, I mean, there's no wonder and there's nothing to feel bad about about it. Um, you know, uh, most of the people even, even, you know, trying to, to, I don't know, help people with the not truth ways don't even realize that it's not even the truth, right? Like, it's not like they're doing things on purpose to throw people off track or anything. That's, I mean, everyone's doing the best they can from whatever level of consciousness they're at, right? Um, so everything's perfect. Everyone's exactly where they're meant to be. This is not a judging video. This is not, you know, a condemning video. This is not, um, you know, making anyone feel bad or putting anyone down or, you know, criticizing anyone video. I will tell you when I first started my journey, I was a puddle on the floor. Um, and so what happens is I went to 13 different people, experts, helpers, healers, advisors, <laughs> everything I could possibly think of um, to help me, um, you know, overcome my pain and somehow move, move along my journey, right? To stop being stuck in my head and, you know, on the floor and with my awful sacral chakra pain that felt like I had been disemboweled um, to stop the thoughts and the memories and just, you know, all of that awfulness. Um, I was desperate. I went to 13, like I said, different people in the process of wasting, in the process I'd wasted $36,000. I had wasted six months of my life and I, it turns out it was only exacerbating the core wound pain. Um, the core wound pain is that pain that you might feel either in your heart, solar plexus, or sacral chakra. And that's that pain. I had it in my sacral chakra where, I mean, you feel like, you know, something, someone, something just went in there and just ripped the insides out of you right there, right? A lot of my students feel it in their heart chakra. 
some in the solar plexus, some in the sacral. Mine was in my sacral. But it's just that pain, you know, um, that it feels like literally your soul was like pulled out of your body from that. Um, so, you know, but what happens is when when you're going and you're, and you're working with like all these other things that don't know the truth and they, they're focusing on the wrong things, that focusing on things we know and it's focusing on anything having to do with your physical form of your twin flame, what? It's feeding your fear-based push energy. And the more that energy feeds, the more you your core wound pain is activated. So really what it was doing, me going to like all these other people and not knowing any better at the time was, you know, it was actually making the, the whole thing worse and prolonging my whole journey and the painful part of that journey for me. So um, finally, six months in, um, my soul finally led me to my teacher, who is amazing. Um, what the Buddhists say is true. When the, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. She appeared. And again, this is six years ago, and this is just totally blown up or something since six years. But I know I went on Google, and there was not many things to find about, you know, help with Twin Flames. Um, now I know it's like everywhere, <laughs> but um, that wasn't the case. But, you know, uh, so I finally did come upon my teacher and her teachings. Um, you know, they are the truth that I base my teachings on that have helped me within, you know, went from six months on the floor getting worse and worse and worse to, you know, two weeks working with her and I was feeling like back in the land of the living. Um, I wasn't completely blissful, but I was back in the land of the living. Um, my core wound pain had deactivated and I was able to then work, um, do the work that was necessary with the energy work that she taught based on the divine truth of creation, which is the, the teachings that she had, she had gifts that I don't have, that she had channeled from the seven great archangels. And so that's how I know this truth. That's how I came upon the truth. It was from her. And she channeled them from the seven great art angels. And she saved my life. She did. I will put that because, I mean, I wanted to die on the floor for six months. I begged the universe to take me. I was a mom of, like, two young kids. And I just, you know, I couldn't just do that myself. I didn't find that in me. But I was just like, you know, please just, <laughs> I wanted to, to end it all. I wanted it to die. I wanted it to end, Right. Um, and so literally, even if I, it didn't end, if I would still be a puddle on the floor, <laughs> what kind of life is that? Right. So she saved my life. She gave my kids back her mom, their mom. Um, and then, yeah, and now everything is like just moved along <laughs> swimmingly. But the point is that, you know, I went to 13 different <laughs> people before that. Um, and you know, they tried to help, they tried and, you know, I went with, you know, hoping they would help, thinking, believing that they would, and that they just, they just couldn't because it wasn't the truth. They weren't focused on the right truth. Um, and most of my students who come to me, they have come to me after having tried at least one or two other modalities, if not having worked with many, many like I have, wasting, I have students that have wasted even tens of thousands of dollars more than I had wasted, and even more time, years, working with other people, and they just realize that it didn't work, because it's just, there's only one truth. There's only one truth to this. This is all truth, and it's based on truth. Twin Flames is not a concept. It's not, um, you know, something that, you know, is just made up, and, oh, let's try this, right? It's divine truth. It's the first step of our ascension, and it's how we're created. That's why we, everyone is and has a twin flame. We're created that way. And so, I mean, most people aren't aware of this truth. <laughs> That's why I took my teacher to channel this from the seven great archangels. Most people do not have those gifts and do not have the channel to the seven great archangels with which to do this. Um, she is no longer here physically with us. And so that's why I am continuing to teach her truth, her, 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 her teachings that based on the truth, um, to my students and to every, all of you, because, um, I'm just continuing her legacy for her. She really did save my life. And I just want, if I can get this out there to tell people to stop if they can. And I know it's hard because I did it myself, no judgment, no blame. Most of my students do it, but I mean, the sooner you can resonate and really understand and, 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 you know, accept that there is only one way. There's only one truth to this. And there's only one way <laughs> working with that truth um, that, you know, and, and put aside all that other, that other noise and stuff and, and untruths and, and the myths and all that around about the twin flame journey and the, the going to psychics or healers or readers or whatever else is going on or um, doing like, you know, 
crazy like exercises and like all this other stuff that I mean that's not that's not that's not the truth of this journey that's not what this is about and the sooner really honestly I, uh, you can do you can you know resonate with the fact that that's not helping um, there's only one thing that can help you um, and that is the truth then I mean the sooner you're going to be able to feel much better you're going to be able to move on along your journey you're going to feel amazing and you're going to magnetize your twin flame back into your physical life and then then the real fun begins because then you get to figure out how to work with the truth even more to be able to maintain a physical relationship with your twin flame should you choose to do so so um, yeah, I just wanted to to come on here and say that because there's so much stuff out there and people are like, oh, you know, that's okay. Um, thank you, but I'll go try this. Or I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do this. More power to you. And I, and you know, trust me, I tried so many things too. But there is only one thing that works. And um, you know, I just wanted to save you some time and money if that applies to you. So um, having said that, I do have four spaces, only four spaces left in my Magnetize Your Twin Flame coaching program. It's starting less than a week from now. It's starting next Monday, June 3rd. I'm so excited. I'm so happy for all my new enrollees. And they're getting ready. They're all excited. They have their first welcome module already. They're hopefully doing their pre-homework assignment before the first day. Um, but there's still four spaces left. So um, if you would like to join it, um, you will learn how to get out of your mind and stop your obsessive thoughts and deactivate the core wound pain that I spoke about earlier that had me on the floor for six months. Um, and then once you do that, you're able to identify and work with your soul energy, your actual soul guys, and how to use it to shift closer into alignment with your soul, which is also what your twin flame. And then also learn how to balance out your fear-based push-pull addictive energy that, you know, is causing you and your twin flame to go like this, <laughs> away from each other, right? Um, and just causing all of those crazy obsessive thoughts in your head anyway. Um, and like I said, this works. The only reason why it does work and <laughs> why is the only thing that does work is it's the truth. And there is only one truth. There's one truth. And um, I, my teacher, like I said, channeled it. She's helped thousands of people, thousands of twin flames all over the world have and maintain physical relationships with each other. Um, I have, since I've been teaching this in a year, helped hundreds. Every single person that's come to me has, you know, felt better, realized their soul's desires, um, see them materialize physically in their physical world. Um, and, you know, everyone just feeling so much better. And when you do this journey, I mean, it, you'll see improvement in all areas of your life. So even if, like, say, financially, there's an issue for you now, I mean, that's going to totally change. I mean, if there's an issue with your family or with your kids or, you know, with your parents or something else, that's clearly going to change. If you're just, like, so close about what you want to do with your life or what kind of path you should be on, like, what kind of, you know, job you should do or career, that's totally going to become clear. There's just, I mean, this, this journey affects all areas of your life, and it just makes everything so much better more blissful <laughs> and perfect and so um definitely if you are interested in in experiencing any of that or at least getting up off the floor or at least you know having a physical relating experience with your twin flame or whatever it is that you truly desire definitely schedule a free one-on-one -on -one clarity consultation to see if you are a good fit for this program you get to see you get to choose and We'll help you choose and decide, and if you don't decide to join the program after your free call, that's perfectly fine. No pressure, no hard feelings, nothing. We can even, you know, put you on the wait list for the next time or whatever. But, you know, the call itself is awesome. You'll get a lot of clarity. You'll be able to speak with someone who actually knows what's going on, who knows the truth, and who can, you know, have a nice conversation with you confidentially, non-judgy, and one-on-one. -on -one. And you'll get your three-step map to help guide you along your journey, and then you'll see if you're a good fit for the program. If you are, you'll get a special discount to enroll in the program, and um, you'll get one of the four remaining spaces left. Um, and I just opened up these spaces again because I want everyone to have an amazing, relaxing, fun-filled, love-filled summer who, um, who, you know, wants to and is committed to doing it. So 
definitely click the link. I'm going to put it below this video in the comments to schedule your free one-on-one -on -one clarity consultation and hopefully snag one of the last four spaces left. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great night and lots of love.